So if you don't know me, my name is Jen, uh, known in social media as Jen MSFT. I am, in fact, one of over a thousand Jennifers at Microsoft, but I am the only gentleman, courtesy of my last name, if you didn't know it. Uh, I'm sort of known for loving keyboard shortcuts, and I do love those. I have some tips about those today. I have some tips about other things. But basically my, basically my philosophy is like, Windows is big. Windows has so many features, and there are lots of awesome things that are really old that you probably have never heard of that Windows supports. And there's also some stuff that's really new that you probably don't know if you haven't been keeping up with their insider blogs. So just as a quick show of hands to start, how many people here are insiders? Okay, okay. Um, and a, a second, just to start, how many people have Power Toys installed? Awesome. Well, my hope today is that you're probably not, not everything here is gonna be new, but I hope at least one, if not more, things are going to be new. And if it is new for you, please share it with other people so that they learn about these things too. Um, with that, so when people hear that I really love keyboard shortcuts, they're like, what are your three favorite keyboard shortcuts? And I'm like, oh my god, how do I choose? But usually, the three that I start with are um, snapping. You know, this has been in Windows for forever. It's pretty awesome. Um, clipboard history, which is the Windows key plus V. <laughs> uh, and taking screenshots, which is the Windows key plus uh, shift plus S. Now, some people find, screenshot, uh, find keyboard shortcuts to be overwhelming. They find them just difficult to remember. And so one of the things we did with Windows 11 was try to bring snapping to more people, make more people aware of this cool feature that exists that's really weird that doesn't exist whenever I use a Mac, which isn't admittedly very often. Um, so with Windows 11, like if you hover over the maximize button of most windows, you'll see a pop-up appear with all of the snapping options. Uh, with Windows 11 22H2, we added an additional option where if you drag the window to the top of the screen, uh, it shows all the snapping options too. Uh, again, in terms to try and introduce more people to snapping. You might not know that Windows 11, unlike Windows 10, actually supports having three windows side by side um, snapped, which previously you could only get through use of power toys. But one of the other features we added based on feedback was the ability to snap windows to the top and bottom of the screen. Um, these options are presented in the flyout if you have a portrait monitor, which I know a lot of people like for coding. Uh, but if you wanted to try it out for some reason on a non-portrait monitor, or if you uh, just like keyboard shortcuts like I do, you may not know that pressing the Windows key plus Alt and up and down will actually do that for you as well, just to quickly put the window in the correct place. So I mentioned clipboard history earlier. Windows key plus V. Keep saying it over and over and over, because it's great. Like, how many times have you accidentally copied on top of what was on your clipboard? Like, <laughs> too many times. Um, one thing I see in social media all the time is people saying, I really wish I could paste without formatting in Windows. I hate formatting. Like, why doesn't Windows have a paste without formatting? And, well, I do wish we had a, a universal paste without formatting. We don't with a single keyboard shortcut, but if you use clipboard history, every single entry actually does have the paste without formatting option. In addition, if you're using any um, Electron or Chromium-based application, you can use Control-Shift-V, uh, which will paste without formatting. If you are an Office Insider, Word finally <laughs> supports that keyboard shortcut. Um, finally. I don't think Outlook supports it yet, but at least it's really handy if you're using like Teams or Edge or like other places where you just want to strip out the formatting quickly and, and go. So let's see. 
So I mentioned, um, by the way, this is like as many tips as I could get through in eight minutes. So apologies if I'm going fast. Um, you're welcome to ask questions later. I'll probably post some things later. So we were talking about screenshots. You know, one of the, the things we've had feedback for for a century was that Windows sh should support automatically saving the capture when you take a screenshot. Actually, Windows has supported that for forever. It's the, the Windows key plus print screen keyboard shortcut will save a full screen screenshot to file. However, with Windows 11, in the last few months, we rolled out the ability to, if you press Win-Shift-S, it now automatically saves the file too, which was a part of the snipping tool update. If you do not want it to do that, you should go to snipping tool to the settings and turn it off. Some people love it, some people don't like it. It does it now by default, and it's pretty cool. Um, if we're talking about snipping tool, one of the other recent things that we just added to snipping tool two months or so ago in Windows 11 is the ability to record your screen. Um, unfortunately, it does actually not have a, a keyboard shortcut currently. However, it's one of the feedback items we're tracking, and I really want it. So, um, but yeah, it's a, I mean, it's great. Uh, if you do want a keyboard shortcut, the game bar actually does also support recording your screen. The difference is that you can't select the area that you want to record. You can only select the, the app window in focus. But if you wanted to select your like Visual Studio window, I think the game bar would let you do that. If you want to check it out, it's pressing the Windows key plus G in my virtual keyboard. <laughs> press the Windows key plus G, uh, will open the game bar, or you can press uh, Win Alt R and it'll automatically start uh, the screen recording for you. Going back to screenshots and uh, keyboard shortcuts and like remembering the keyboard shortcuts being kind of overwhelming, I've actually heard some people say that they buy programmable mice and they actually bind the keyboard shortcuts to the button, buttons on the mice, and that makes it easier for them to remember. Yeah. Um, in addition, another option that we've had for ages is that uh, specifically for screen, keyboard shortcuts, oh my god, specifically for screenshots, you can actually go into settings and you can set print screen to do the same thing as Win Shift S. Um, while we've supported this forever, it's really hard to discover that. So one of the changes we've made in the Insider builds is that that's now the default. So we're really hoping that it, <laughs> we're, we're really hoping it helps people discover the screenshot options faster because, well, you just press one button, it's easy. Print screen has been around for so long. You just want, hopefully more people will discover it naturally. Uh, and let me see, I, of course, I have my, I'm not browsing Twitter, I have a list of tips that I was going to share on my phone. Okay, so kind of continuing through our journey of um, Windows tips, I talked about Power Toys. If you don't have Power Toys installed, you can install it via aka.ms slash power toys. Power toys is awesome. <laughs> it has so many good features. And not only does it have really awesome, and it's not the Windows 95 power toys. It is an homage to the original power toys. It is modern, it is cool, it is open source, it's on GitHub. Um, and they are continually adding new features to it. Like, I think just this morning, I used to have a watch, now I have a gesture. Um, I think just this morning they announced like a peak feature where you can like quickly look at the, look at files and get an idea of what they're at, but that's this morning. I prepared this talk last night. Um, so some of the other features you might not know about with Power Toys is uh, they have a keyboard shortcut if you want to make something always on top. So like if you're watching a video while coding, some people like doing that. You can like put it in a small window, you can press uh, Win Control T and it will make the, the small window be always on top. Personally, I like using it with a sticky notes app because you can have like a really tiny list of stuff and just pin it always on top. 
I would have done that for this demo, but then it'd be like, spoilers. So, <laughs> so instead I have my phone that I'm looking through. Um, one of the other features I really like of Power Toys, so you notice my mouse is green. Green, a little bit big. Um, that is also, that's a Windows accessibility setting. Nice and green, nice and big. This is available in both Windows 10 and Windows 11. But sometimes it's not enough. So Power Toys has this feature called Mouse Spotlight. And it's really like, um, I don't know, it makes it super obvious. It's kind of similar to the mouse sonar feature that we have in Windows, which is like, mouse, mouse, mouse. But <laughs> to me, I like the spotlight because it's just really obvious and bold and big. Um, the other Power Toys feature that I've come to use all the time, and in fact, the, re the reason why I told you the story of Darth Plagueis the, the Wise was because uh, Power Toys has a text extract feature. And I don't know about you, but people share screenshots with me all the time of bugs. <laughs> and that's great, but sometimes I need the error code or the text or whatever. And so if you just press Control Shift T and you have Power Toys installed, you can select the area um, that you want to extract the text from and it will, yay. Um, it does, I mean, it, it's, uh, I think in the behind the scenes, it's like taking a screenshot and it's like analyzing the screenshot. I also believe it's locally analyzing it using Windows OCR stuff. Um, but that means if you're trying to do something DRM, it's not gonna help you. But for most cases outside of that <laughs> scenario, um, it is really, really handy. Um, let's see, and then the other quick the Power Toys feature I wanted to mention was the, um, the color picker. If you press uh, the Windows key plus Shift plus C, it brings up a really cool little color picker. Um, if you're trying to design an app and you wanna quickly grab the color from something, it's just nice, I don't know. That's not that much more to say about than that. Um, okay, cool. So I, I'm at time, am I? I can keep going. I literally have pages more. <laughs> Where are we at? I think you are at time, and we have one more session, and yeah. the mixer has started. Do you want me to do two things that are insider only? Super Ooh. quick. Yes. OK, so two insider only features. If you are in the dev channel specifically, I believe you can try these today. I think they're available for everyone, or they're a rollout, but it, it is in the blog post, it is real, it's whatever. So the first thing we added is you can end task right from the taskbar. Yay! You do have to enable it. It's not just there by default. We don't want to confuse people because it is like a, I mean, it's like a kill it <laughs> sort of action. But it's great. If, I mean, if you just want to quickly abort, that is now a thing that you can do. Um, the other thing that we added which is insider only, is that we added the ability to uh, finally in Windows 11, hide the clock. Um, this has been an ask from other presenters because they find having the clock visible dates their content. And so that's just something really little, really quick um, that we added and I'm good.